The doctor took Brian's temperature and said, I strongly recommend a quiet week in bed. We sighed with relief and talked a rough body. Poor Granny for her, it was like a brief season in hell, confined to her bedroom, while every breeze whispered of summer and dancing wheels. So after she had been brought down from the tree, the family members called the doctor. Doctor checked Granny's temperature and strongly recommended quite a week in bed. Okay. We sighed with relief. Here we refer to family members after listening to the doctor where he had recommended a quiet week in bed for granny. Okay. They had felt with the relief and they tucked her up in well. That means they, were, they made her to be in the bed for a week. For poor granny, it was like a brief season in hell. That is that particular week confined in the head was like a brief season or in hell. Okay. While well, every breeze is sort of summer and dancing leaves. Since she had the habit of climbing the tree, okay, moreover it was a summer season, cool breeze, okay, cool weather and leaves were dancing and attracting granny to come out of her room and climb the tree. Okay, I think you have understood this folk stanza. She was rescued. Doctor checked the temperature, advised her to be confined in the bed for a week. And for family members, it was a great relief. And for granny, it was like a brief season in hell. Okay, the next paragraph. But she held her peace. She still, she felt stronger. Then she sat up and said, I will lie here no longer. And she called for my father and told him undaunted that the house in the treetop was that she now wanted. My dad knew his duties. He said, that's all right. You will have what you want dear and I will start work tonight. Okay. So here, yeah, she had held her peace until she felt stronger. Okay. She was confined in bed. Okay. She was peaceful and she remained in silence for that particular week. She, still she find her stronger because she was disciplined with the, to the advice of the doctor and she was in the bed for a week. But afterwards when she felt stronger, then she sat up and said, I will lie here no longer. After she felt stronger, she said that she will lie no longer. That means she will not lie anymore in the bed. Okay. And she called for my father. My father refers to Raskin born father. She called Raskin born's father and she told him undaunted. She told him undaunted without hesitation that she need a house in a treetop. And what she now wanted. My dad knew his duties. That is Raskin born father knew his duties. He said that's all right and you will have what you wanted here and he started working tonight. Okay. This is fifth stanza where it says that she was disciplined to the advice of the doctor. She was in the bed for a week. After she felt stronger, she said she will, ne she will never lie down anymore in the bed and she got up and called his grand resting born father and said that she need a house on the tree in a tree top. Okay. Grand his father knew his duty and she said all right and she had he started working from that night. Last stanza. With my expert assistance, he soon finished the core, made her a house with the windows and a door. So Granny moved up and now every day I climb to her room with the glasses and tray. She sits there with steak and brings shell with me. Upholding her right to reside in a tree. So she asked the Sinhwan father that she need a house in the tree top. And father knew his duty and he accepted and started working from that night with the expert assistance with the help of the skin bond. He completed the he finished, it means he built the house in the tree top. He finished the core. Core means task. Task is building the house in the tree top. He made a tree house with the doors, 
and windows. So Granny now moved up. So now she moved up to the tree house. And every day this this Ruskin born climbed to her room with the glasses and a tray. And she sits there in a state. And she sits there like a queen and enjoys drinking sherry with her skin born, upholding her right to reside in a tree and enjoys living there happily her life.